Hello, everybody, and welcome to the TTV coverage for episode 6 of the Legends of Chima TV series, Attack on Eagle Spire. Just as a quick note, as I always do, just to stop the flow of comments to the contrary, there is a link to the episode in the description if you want to see it. This is a discussion. We are not trying to troll you by misleading you. We provide the link for you to click, so please don't rage at us. Thank you. Okay, this is the second episode for this series since it became weekly, since it actually became a series. And in my opinion, this was the best one so far. I don't know about you guys, but I noticed quite a couple good things that show promise for the future in this episode. Number one being some of the jokes actually being funny, which is a novel concept. Uh, there is this one, right? Funny okay, at pain, some painful. There was this one point where, yeah. I eat, where like a wolf who was falling got a fate worse than death. <laughs> I'll leave it at <laughs> We're not going to tell you what it was, but watch the episode. You'll know what it is. Kind of difficult to miss. All right. The Kill. ravens were great, as always. Double and triple crossing everyone involved. Steal, trying to steal all the glory for themselves before eventually saving the day because they realized they would destroy three tribes and all of their customer base. I swear the ravens are just... Kai, when the Chima MMO comes out, are you going to be a raven? <laughs> I well, I, At the moment, at the beta, you can only be uh, a lion. That's lame. But I'm totally going to be a raven. Yeah, I'm totally gonna be a Raven. Ravens are like my thing. I love Ravens. We need to make a Chima name for you, not for the MMO, but like an actual name that starts with R. I we we should we should make some Chima fan fiction. We should make a Chima sprite cake and have like Chima fan oh God. fiction. Chima uh, sprite sheet. Chima comics. Chima sprite comics, guys. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah. LJ, get on this. Sprite some yeah. Chima. Yeah, Elena. Why can't I do a tryout in Sprite Chima? My kitties were pretty good, right? I guess. <coughs> it's a far <coughs> cry yes, between yes, spraying please. cats and spraying human birds animals. with wings. You never know. All I need to do is make Lego minifigs. And then put wings and various other animalistic features on them. You never know. Yeah. Never know how good tell. they could come out. Yeah, well. I don't doubt yeah. that. But... This must be handled nope. with a certain careful. I'm not yeah. making them. Okay, fine. Anyways, back Wait. to. The... <laughs> yes. Um, Elena, we were having a bit of a discussion as we were watching about the realistic, or more like after, shortly before starting this, about the chains that the wolves used to pull down the mountain and whether they are actually viable candidates for bringing down a mountain because of their Those ability to get spl sliced in two or shot by raven lasers. Those chains are too thin. If a, that lion can slice through one chain in one go, I'm pretty sure the other chains would have snapped like twigs and just fallen. The pure pressure put on them alone would have just snapped them straight back to the vehicles they were in, causing a massive explosion and mass death, I think, which would have been a lot more interesting. I think they're high-tech okay. wolf chains. You don't, okay. I don't think so. I think so. Okay. If they were high-tech, that wolf, that lion wouldn't have been able to cut straight through that chain in one go. Did you ever think that okay. the lions are high-tech too? Maybe they're higher-tech? Okay, okay, okay. Okay. Hold on. No, oh, no. Ah. Yes, Keith. Okay. No. The thing with the chain is not so much about the pressure put on it, about snapping and causing explosions, because Elena, chains are not elastic bands. They are chains. They do not snap back. They just break and fall. The thing is. The nails that they used to put in the chain yeah, that to the totally rock. It. That is true. Yeah. It was. It, see, high tech I mean, I get it. It's it's kind of easier just to make a normal nail type of thing. But that nail is probably like five or six inches long. Yeah. And the chain just kind of sat on it as it stuck out of the mountain. <laughs> high tech wolf chains so the, <laughs> and, and nails as well. Unless those chains are magnetic and hilariously powerful. Though, yeah. E e okay, either those chains 
are really high tech, like you keep saying, or those chains were made by whatever god the Chima people have? Because, yeah. I don't know. I those... wonder what it didn't just shoot the chains into the side you know. of the eagle place. I don't get why they didn't do that either. I mean, they could have just made like super long 10 foot chains put thick prongs at both sides and when they shot them into the air when the prongs went into the mountain they could release it'd make a lot more sense probably be a little bit less flimsy yeah that is true but then there becomes the either way there's still the uh, actual hole we're pulling it down a mountain here with yeah six chains and three vehicles. <laughs> High tech chains and also nail. Uh, when when you well, think you about wanted. it though, how the heck did that that mountain has a thinner base at the bottom than it does at the top? How has that thing been able to stay up for no? That's a good point. Spire. Who knows how many years? Spire tactics. It's yeah. a spire. <laughs> I mean, it, oh, actually, man. there's no reason why it didn't stand up, but it should have crumpled a lot more. Like, after they started pulling it down, it should have gone, it tipped over. Yeah. Yeah. Like, that's, you know. If we want to talk about physics, let's yeah. not forget that, um, what's her name? Ares. Her name? Ares. 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 Ares does, like, the dive jump after Laval as he falls, mm. and he's, like, he's halfway down, he's halfway down, uh, through the mountain. He falls. She runs to the edge, waits a couple seconds, you know, kind of thinks do, 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 then jumps. He's already, he's like, I'm not going to make it. And he should have run around because, like, all the other wolves, they immediately, like, switched the angle to them landing in the water. But uh, Laval's falling, and she's like, all right, I, I'm going to use chi. And she goes down with, like, this amazing chi speed, uh, which I guess gives her the ability to defy physics. And get there so fast and catch Oval by his arms and not rip the arms out of his sockets like Chewbacca to a stormtrooper. You want to go Star Wars 2? So fun, by the way. I mean, like, loop, loop, and then, like, have the stormtroopers just run around armless. Anyhow, so uh, he's unarmed, haha, and he should be falling down to his death in those trees below, but he doesn't because Chi. Because Chi? Because Chi. What does Chi do? Force. Well, they really need to elaborate on chi. Yeah, guys, it's the 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 epitome of Deus Ex Machina. Well, it does whatever you need it to do. <laughs> whatever we it don't does. know that for sure. But They're so vague on they've... it that that could be one of the things, but then it could also be something something completely different. Well, it does do but different Elena, things. That's why different media. That's. That's why it's a deus ex machina, because it does whatever it needs to do at that specific point in time in order to win whatever. If you need, to, if, if, if you need yeah. it to make you giant so you can be sold for $15 as a construction set, it can do that. If you need it to keep you small, <laughs> yeah. you can bundle it. That's a good deal. <laughs> yeah, that's a good deal. <laughs> yeah, I make you a good deal. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's basically... The god in the machine, Deus Ex Machina. And in this case, the drug in the thinly veiled drug reference. Yeah, Lena, do you want a good deal too? Anyway. Yes. No, I don't <laughs> want a good deal. So, the plot of this episode. Oh, moving very, on. It was very convoluted and multifaceted, full of triple betrayals, secret alliances, back end deals, thievery. Reverse thievery, raven antics, and uh, I got so confused near the end. A lot of stuff that just start stuff. happening randomly. Like first the ravens double cross the crocs. Then they double cross the lions while they're working for the crocs. Then they double cross everyone by saving the day. <laughs> it, I think I think the greatest betrayal of all is at the end where Laval betrays that one raven because <laughs> the raven is like. Okay, you don't tell anyone about what we did. It's like, hey, so father, this all happened, and the ravens did this. They were the ones who actually stole the uh, thing we bought, but he said it so quick. His father, who's obviously the old man who can't <laughs> hear very well and keep up with things, 
<laughs> could not hear Laval. Actually, he's really I think quick that, talking guy. I, I I think that was more of uh, don't tell them that I was gonna steal it again. No, no, he he said, I I swear I could remember. He said, don't tell anyone. Yeah, he yeah. said, as you don't tell anybody, and we get to keep the profits. He's like, yeah, yeah, whatever. Get out of here. <laughs> get out of here. So obviously Laval kind of, he didn't really say that he would agree to that, but it was implied, so Laval is like more untrustworthy than anybody in the series. Laval is the real antagonist. The That's why we can't relate <laughs> to him as a protagonist. It's because he's the secret antagonist. I wonder, like, right. that's it. Like, it's really what if he's, guess. like, everybody hates Laval, and so do we. So what if, like, he's really the antagonist, and this is how he just views the world, and everybody's getting tired of them messing up their, you know, their stuff, and his dad's like, why can't you just stay in your room? And, like, Laval is causing all this trouble. He made Cragger mad at him and all this stuff, and he's trying to be himself as a hero. I guess that is true. This is all his fault. This all started because him and Cragger were friends, and he couldn't control him. Yeah. Yeah, this is... I, I've said this time and time again, two things which I feel the need to drive home every time we record this. I can't relate to Laval as a protagonist, and I sure as heck can't relate to Cragger as an antagonist. Which, if you actually follow the official story, the one on the website and whatnot, from the original plan before it got adapted into a TV show, Cragger's not really the antagonist, quote-unquote. He's not being mind controlled by a flower, but he's still not evil like this. His actions stem from the loss of his parents and him blaming Laval for their death because of some reason that was not in the TV show whatsoever. And then his addiction to Chi causing him to, you know, basically want more and more and more and want to cripple everyone to get it. Not some stupid unexplained for six episodes in a row magic flower. And Crueler's motivations were much different as well. She doesn't necessarily want to, you know, take over, but she wants to kind of manipulate him because she doesn't want the glory of being leader. And she's basically Rudaka, using mind games and word tricks to get him to do what she wants. But because that needed to be changed for some reason, we now have Flower. So, yay. Amazing. The Great flower powers. is his new drug that his sister uses to manipulate him with. I wouldn't yeah, mind it so like, much no, if they no, said no, what no. the heck it was. You know? Or why she's using it. I, I still don't like... I still don't know why she goes through all this trouble to make her brother lead everybody. Because murder is not he's, for kids. He's, like, stupid enough that she sh he's stupid enough that she should be able to manipulate him with words alone. She, like, at least just... I don't know. There, there seems to be. Like, it just seems to be roundabout the way she's going. She's she's the princess. She could kind of command a bit of power too. But instead, she just or like just tell Cragger up straight. I don't know. It just it just seems like a roundabout way to go to to get something that's already hers to begin with. She doesn't want to though. That's the thing. Well, she doesn't. We don't, so that's what you say. But like that's only because of what you read in the website. And like a lot of stuff in the website isn't a TV show. So we really True. don't know why she's doing it yet. Website True. is canon. Well, I, I mean, know. yeah, but like a lot of stuff is just like not there, you know? Yeah. Like, uh, obviously the stuff of the flower isn't there. So why would her motivation still be the same? She's using the flower. That is true, I guess. We shall see. Anyhow, we'll, we'll see how that turns what out. What else? Voice What's acting. Oh, voice acting was awful. It was pretty Ugh. usual. It's always horrible. The ball still takes the really li That Levar lion, is though. Levar that lion makes me want to shoot him in the head. He's boring, one note, terrible voice actor, no character. Mm -hmm. Generic, uninteresting, bland. Generic inserts in him generic. here. I, so I, he's messed up. Think... <laughs> well, <Hey> well. <laughs> 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 generic and uninteresting. I think the thing that gets me the most, Lego's really trying to gun for that whole, he's the teenage prince. Yep. And they go so far as to get the most annoying voice actor, along with having him purposefully crack his voice at some lines. That, I, my, my, my ambition in life, what I want to do for a living is voice acting. That drives me up a wall. 
but I'll just the whole voice have to make sacrifices. Nah, the minor I mean, sacrifices honestly. for the good of a television show. Which, when it we just, think about it, really isn't for the good of it in the first place. Know. So I guess it's just not really. It sounds so bad. I don't like it. I don't like Laval. I don't like his voice. You don't like anything. You don't like life. No, nah, Kenny, I like. Well, life. guys, Chima has been scheduled to continue up till 2015. So we better get used to Laval, because he's gonna be around <sighs> for a long, long time, unless they pull a swerve like we were just talking about, which of course they won't. Maybe one of us should go into the Lego studios and hijack the project and have Laval killed off. Or he uh, no. disappears into the mysterious circumstances. No, 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 no. Elena, this is what we'll do. There'll be a battle, and he'll there'll like be an earthquake, and he'll fall down, and he'll see Cragger's parents are there, and he'll be like, hey. <laughs> hey, how's it going? And then, no, I'm not even gonna lie. That sounds like it would actually happen. You know, I'm not even joking. Know, they, that sounds like made, that would be it. They made a Speed Wars set, released in the first wave. That was Cragger's father escaping from the tunnel, the pit, whatever. And yet, he's still trapped. And we're six episodes in into the second wave. I don't understand. Anyway. It's because there's nothing to understand, Vesso. Yeah. There is no logic to be had. Well, to end this coverage, what do you guys think of the actual upwards climb and quality of the show? Because, like, this one, while it wasn't a masterpiece, I'd say it was better than the others. I agree. God. I'd say it was definitely a lot, but the jokes are a lot more fluid yeah. I feel that there, there's definite improvement characters are really good characters held this up really well except for the lions Yeah. even the crocodiles are a little bit better the wolves are fantastic <laughs> ravens are hilarious ravens are great overall definite improvement I, I love how they have they finally have like this this one type of antagonist that isn't purely bent on evil because that seems to be what the crocodiles are, just evil for evil's sake. They want to get stuff, you know. Yeah. Well, like, the, the ravens the ravens do stuff, and they have a very clear reason for doing it. And they'll switch sides whenever they want to because, you know, if you give them this reason, they're like, uh, well, this makes the most sense. We should do this. And I can't really argue with them. That's exactly what I would do. Yep, got to get that money. Exactly, yeah. For, the, for America, for capitalism, for money. <laughs> um, sometimes life isn't about the money. You it's do about something the enjoyment. For... You do uh-huh. something Kini, for us. Money is enjoyment. <laughs> money can't make you happy, Kahi. Money, money can't is make happiness. Ha happy. <laughs> Okay. So, uh, Ravens should... The series should just focus on the Ravens from now on. Uh, get rid of Cragger and all of all. Or at least rewrite them, because they, they suck. <laughs> but, I mean, you know, it's, it's an upward climb. They, they, they're slowly getting somewhere. I wouldn't watch this, you know... Unless I had to, but it's it's slowly getting somewhere. Uh, maybe we'll find out more about the story later. If you are interested in what this this episode is all about, then you know I, I wouldn't say you shouldn't watch it. It's definitely the best one we've seen. Yeah, that's not saying much. It's yeah. a Chima show, but you know, you know, all right. It's like saying it's you know, difficult like, oh, to critique 2000... these every week because while it is a steady upward climb, it's just. The, it's the a very, quality it's a very, standard is set so low already. Yeah, it's like it's, like, it's a, a steady upward climb, but they started at the very bottom. Yeah. So you got a ways to climb before you get anywhere, you know? But it'll happen. And I I hope that I never see that first episode. You should see the first episode. Oh. Well, actually, Elena, I got some really great news for you. Your birthday what? present... Is the first season of Legends of Chima. It's perfect. It's on DVD. On DVD. It, it, it exists. It literally exists. LJ? Get it for <laughs> yes, Selena. My birthday present for my mom is tickets to a Keith Urban concert. You have to do pretty good to up those. Okay, tickets to a live premiere showing of the Legends of Chima movie. The day that Go is to a Karzani. thing is the day I stop being a Lego fan. <laughs> 
I, I, I must so. They're doing a Ninjago movie, aren't they? So, yes, they are. Or the Hero Factory. Who knows? Ninjago's good. There is, there is a Friends movie. I just found that out today. A Lego yes. Friends. Not like, yeah. Well, it was, I was shelving stuff in the library, and I came across Friends, and it said, based on the hit movie, or based on the hit TV show, I forget which, but Can something. You, what are you what? like? I, I, I think the things that I think myself. I think things that are things that. Thank you for your contribution. Nah, awesome. I think it was it was good. It was a Chima episode. It was disjointed and dysfunctional in a lot of ways, but whatever. It's also a Lego show, so what can you expect? Oh, you know what do you think? Well, don't answer that. I know what you're gonna say. It sucked. Chima sucks. Terrible. Yeah, it's I, also trying to follow me into life. What? A few days ago, my mom was flipping channels, and oh no, she landed on a Chima episode, and she stayed on there for like a minute. Thank <laughs> God. Thankfully, she moved away. You're kidding me. Uh, it was horrible. <laughs> it's oh man, did she get inwhelmed in the little beautiful land of Chima? Did she see the conflict between the crocodiles and the, okay, the lions? Nope, nope. I'm, I, not having it. it was nope. so horrible, I blocked out what nope. I saw. Nope. Not doing this. No. Alrighty then. You know, I just want to say one last thing. All the tribes from the legends of Chima are, are animals from Africa. Really? Wow, beavers? <laughs> yes, African beavers. <laughs> oh, wow. you just stop talking. Uh, okay. Anyway. Okay, fine. A good majority of them. The bald eagle. You see a lot of those around Africa. Yeah. Wait, there's no bald eagle in Chima. Oh, well, there's eagles. I guess one of them has to be bald somewhere. You get old, you know? Okay, yeah, let's finish this episode. Yes. I want to thank you all for listening. We'll be doing another one next week. If you enjoyed, please be sure to like, favorite, rate, comment, subscribe, go join the Steam group, etc., etc. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. I'm Messner. Uh, hi, Belge. Uh, I'm Kahi. I'm Keeney. I'm Alina. We'll see you all next time for another exciting coverage of Legends of Chima. Bye.